All right, guys, before the next race starts, I'm going to give you a little uh, track limit guide to start because I know a lot of people are probably taking penalties that they don't want and they don't know why. So I'm going to explain all the track limits through a lap. Okay, so coming into turn one, first chicane. I don't want this. Okay, so you want your right hand tires. So first of all, this first corner, before you even get to the chicane, you can put your left hand tires on this inside curb and just ride this curb with your left side tires, right? And then when you get to here, then you can break. And I still kind of split this curb sometimes. Okay, so you break up to here. Then you put your outside tires on the inside curb. Your right-hand tire can be right on the edge of this curb on the inside. Okay, and same thing with this one. Your left-hand tire just has to stay on the inside of this curb. So as long as your tire's on this blue and white or blue and yellow curb, you're fine, and you won't get a penalty. Same thing with the exit. Your right side tire has to stay on this yellow and blue curb. Okay. So those are the first couple corners. All right, back it up a little bit. Okay, here you can use the inside of the track. I need to stop pressing one. Okay, so I come right here, and this is my line basically. I keep my left side tires to the left of this line, and I try and cut this just a little bit, right? It's okay to hit these. These won't do anything to your car. Then you come back on the track, brake right about here, stay in third gear, and make sure you get the left side of your car onto this curb. So get on the inside curb, and then you can cut this curb a little bit, you can split this. So as long as your left side tires stay to the, white, stay to the left of this white line, you're fine. Okay. Now we go to the next corner. All right. Left side tires, inside curb. Your left side tires should follow this black mark, right? And that's all you need to do. This black mark right here that cuts the extreme inside of the curb, this is your left tire through that corner. All right. Now we get down to the chicane. Okay, so. Left side tires, inside curb. Your whole right side of your car should be off the track over here by the wall. Then you want to hold right, bring the car back, put your right side tires on this inside curb. Come all the way around here. Start accelerating. Okay, this white line, you cannot cross this white line. Do not cross this white line with your right-hand tires until you get to right here. Where this line is equal with this curb, that's when you can cross this white line. If you do it before then, you'll get a penalty. And then you can cut that curb like crazy. Okay, same thing with the next chicane. You can cut this inside curb with half your car and put your right side tires on this inside curb. Then you cut it back, put your left side tires on this inside curb. Hit full throttle right about here in third gear. And then outside tires on the inside curb. All the way down there. All right, down to the 90 degree corner, down to the straightaway. You can use a little bit of road out here to the left as long as you split this line, you're okay. You can put your right hand tires a little bit to the inside of this curb if you want, you won't get a penalty. And you can put your right side tires on this outside curb and you will get a penalty, but I wouldn't recommend it because you want full grip. So I'd stay with my left side tires on this curb just to ensure the car has lateral grip and you're going straight. 
with as little steering as possible. Okay. Right here. You can split this curb with half your car. You can put the right side of your car on the right side of this curb, which will give you a better setup to this braking zone, keep you nice and straight. Get down to second gear early so that when you turn in and you come into the corner, you can hit third gear at the apex and start accelerating from right about here in third gear without being scared of braking traction. Okay, so you pretty much just want to follow the track limits there. Try to put your left side tire on the inside curb. Use the exit curb. Break. Just before this 50 meter board, this is your braking marker. Just so you guys know. This 50 board right here is your braking marker. If you're not using this 50 board, you're using the wrong braking marker. And then you can come straight in here. Don't worry about getting to the left side too much. Come in nice and smooth in second gear. A little bit of throttle to get the car to rotate. Make sure you don't spin the tires. And then left side tires on this curb. Okay. S curbs. Don't really have to worry about it. Just keep your, your car on the regular pavement there's no real need to use this outside here and all you want to do is break at this first blue braking board which will then slow you down enough to about 220 kilometers an hour where you can actually hit the apex without understeering okay so cutting the course isn't really optimal here just put your car on the inside curb stay to the right a little bit to set up this s curb Lift right here, get on this curb, slow the car down, stay to the right, stay to the right, stay to the right. Give it a little brake tap right here to dip the nose down, get the car to cut in because you know when you accelerate, you're going to understeer like a truck. So you want to get the rotation, then get on the gas, and then there's no understeer. All right, last chicanes. So, I'm not a dirty, course-cutting piece of shit as much as some people are. Some people like to use the pit lane coming into here. I don't really worry about it. I kind of just, like, split this a little bit. But basically, my breaking point is right before this curb. Break right before this, put my right side tires onto here. And then I lead the car in. Try to get my right side tires on this inside curb, or at least close to it, and split this. Just be careful because these sausages will make you catch air if you hit it wrong. And then same thing with this. So you want to split this curb, split this curb, stay in third gear, stay to the right, give it a little bit of throttle so it doesn't understeer. Then you brake, go down to second. Try not to cut this too much because you'll get air and it'll fishtail and go all over the place right here. See how these are like diamond shaped? Yeah, they're disgusting. These are not good curbs. Look look at this curb design. Look at that curb design. Imagine going over this the opposite direction. How this would feel. Yeah. It'd feel terrible. It'd be like hitting a bunch of jumps on the inside curb. So you want to split this a little bit. Not a lot. Pretty much just get your left side tire right about here. Just to be safe. Get to the left. Go to third gear, ease on the throttle, and stay off this sausage. And carry as much grip as possible. The most you can put is your right side tires on this outside curb. And those are your track limits at Sarth. Go use them.